after a long winter, I am so ready for sunshine and springtime, and I am really excited to report that my local stores are starting to get some spring and Easter decor on their shelves. This is such a fun time of year to find not only seasonal items, but the spring stuff I find is really good for everyday decor as well. So come along with me today. I am going to share all of my recent finds as well as my best tips and tricks for the stores you should be shopping and what items to grab this spring before they sell out. You're watching Whiskey and What. My name is Whitney and a huge thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video. Also a huge hello and welcome back to my Whiskey Craft Buddies who are here each and every week to DIY with me. I am so thankful to have you guys along for the ride and if you want to join us hit subscribe down below so you won't miss any future DIY and budget home decor content. Let's kick it off with Dollar Tree. This first find I audibly gasped in the store when I saw these. They're these lemon stems. So here they are. This is one stem on its own. So I have a few in a bushel here, but these were only a dollar twenty-five. The lemons are a more realistic color. They don't look like artificial neon yellow. The leaves too, sometimes Dollar Tree leaves can look extra cheap. I think these look great and these will for sure sell out. So if you see them at your store, be sure to grab them. They also had oranges, peaches, and limes. And my store had them in the front near the spring stuff. I know some of you guys are not going to believe me when I tell you that these were $1.25. I almost didn't believe it either. I had them check at the register before I checked out, but they don't have the $3 or $5 sticker. These were only $1.25. They are super thick and they are beautiful on their own. Like literally you could put this on a shelf and not even have to DIY it. These would be awesome blanks and they were like hidden in a little box on the bottom shelf. So these... They also had a little chick. I was so excited about these because for $1.25, these are great for DIYs and decor. So super excited about these. I grabbed these carrots last year and used them all over my house. So when I saw they brought them back, I had to grab more because I had some more ideas. These things are very large and they have burlap. This is like a smaller gingham. They have a larger buffalo check and I think some polka dots. I ended up grabbing these two colors and just did a lot of the solid orange and the striped ones. So rolling on with the $1.25 items, I thought this carrot was so cute. It has a little stand as well, so you can just set it up. It's perfect to add some color onto a shelf. And I also like that it has this ombre color. They had a few different colors in store, and this is something that I have not seen at Dollar Tree before. I also grabbed these, what are they calling them? Oh, decor, very descriptive, but they're these little eggs and I grabbed some last year. They go really well in vases. You could just drop them in like hurricane vases and they look really nice in there. So these are nice to have on hand. Every year I make sure to grab some of these little create your own ornaments because these are great for embellishments. They're great to put decals on. There are a ton of different options you can use these for. They also had chicks, but I went with the eggs the bunnies and the carrots. I've done so many projects with these over the years and with the mystery box coming up, it's nice to have these in my arsenal in case I need to grab from them to DIY with. They had a lot of really cute spring and Easter entertaining type things. I ended up grabbing these pink gingham napkins because I think these would be great for decoupage on those eggs especially or the carrots, whatever but these are also great if you are entertaining. I usually will host for holidays and I don't need a pack of 30 napkins. So to be able to grab a pack of 14, it's less wasteful and these are super cute. For the past few years, I have grabbed these chalk eggs for Finn, their sidewalk chalk. And in the past, they've been six packs for $1.25. This year they had these like tie dye looking ones and then they also had solid colors, but it's eight in a pack for $1.25. These are the perfect Easter basket stuffers. Shifting gears real quick to share some of my Easter finds from the Dollar Tree Plus section. I like to separate them so you guys know what came from the $1.25 regular area and then what is in the plus section. So this was a $5 tray. It pops up and it has little Easter bunny ears on the top. This is so cute. It would be great for all of your little pastries or any little desserts for Easter brunch. And it would also be cute for just regular decor display. So for $5, this is really solid metal. And then another metal find, these were each $5. I am doing a Peter Rabbit 
themed tablescape for Easter this year. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it and I just couldn't leave this guy behind. They've got little kickstands on the back so they stand up on their own. They call them metal leaners. And these things are nice and big. I thought they would either be cute on the table or with the buffet. They also had a goose and I just love these so much. I know these are going fast, but I just saw them today in my store. So keep your eyes peeled. You may have to go to a couple stores, but these are definitely worth grabbing. I was so happy to see these eggs. These are flowers, yellow and blue. And then there's also this green one. It says Easter blessings on it, but it has like kind of carved out shapes. These actually you're seeing at Pottery Barn with not colors, but just like the wood tones. But I thought these would be so pretty for $3 each for setups, vignettes. This would also be great in the center of an Easter table. How cute are these? They are bunny door hangers. I think I'm going to add them to my wreaths. This one gave me Peter Rabbit vibes and the ears have a little bit of metal in them so you could position them. They also come with their own hanger so you could just hang it on its own. I grabbed two tablecloths. I personally would upgrade and do the $3 version of these if you're hosting for Easter versus the $1.25 ones because these you can wipe off and use again. These are also great to grab for kids DIYs. This one has a really pretty carrot pattern on it and then this one has really cute like watercolor bunnies. These are super cute for three bucks and the sizes are 60 by 84 for this one and then this one's 52 by 70. I grabbed one for each of our tables. We have like a kitchen nook table and then a dining room table. I was looking for some napkins to go on my tablescape and I couldn't find colors that I wanted or the ones that I did find were way too expensive. So Dollar Tree for the win. They have these in the plus section. It is a set of four of them for $3 and I really love the print. There's purples and blues and greens in here. Pastel vibes. I grabbed two packs so they will fit the eight seats on our table. This last plus item is actually super funny because I saw it originally and I didn't end up grabbing it and then Shannon at the Daily DIYer sent a message to some of our friends saying, look at this, how awesome is this? And once she talked about how she was gonna use it, I decided I needed to go back and get it. I'm gonna use this for staging for all my projects. So the pretty pictures that I do, I'm also gonna roll this down the center of my Peter Rabbit table. It is a faux turf runner. And I thought this would be so cute with carrots on top. So this is five bucks from the plus section. I love these tubs. These snap on either side. They have a handle on the top and then the lid comes off. The great thing about this is they're great for craft rooms. They're great for bathrooms. I'll put like hair stuff in them. They take vinyl or labels super well and they stack very, very nicely. I grabbed these specifically for Finn stuff because I think these will be good for Legos and small toys of that nature as well. I grabbed some of these from the kitchen section and they would be great for like kids snacks and things, but I plan on using them in my craft room to organize things because the lids snap on. So like little Cricut tools or glue sticks or just really anything that will fit in here. They have this square one and then this one is actually divided so you could do two different things. These veggie storage things have been a game changer for Finn because he eats berries all the time. We have berries every week all the time. These are great because they come with a little insert that lets the water drip out. So once you clean them, it will help keep the moisture off of them. And the Dollar Tree ones have been just my favorites. So I grabbed two more of these because we need them, but I wanted to share them because I would definitely recommend those. Next up, let's unbox my spring 2024 FabFitFun box. If you're not familiar with FabFitFun, it is a seasonal subscription box filled with amazing products ranging from wellness and beauty to fashion and home. And the great part about that is whichever one of those categories resonates most with you, you can customize the box to fit what you like. Let's get into it. Let me show you what I pick the great part about FabFitFun is it's fully customizable to you. You guys know me. I love the home stuff. I lean a little bit more towards fashion and beauty is really not my strong suit. However, I wanted to use this box as an opportunity to get some trending products and try them out so that hopefully this can help me get a little bit out of my comfort zone because I'm not the biggest like beauty guru. I'm actually not a beauty guru at all. You guys know. So I'm excited to see what I picked because it's been a minute so I can't fully remember. <gasps> it's all coming back to me now. The first thing I picked was this Swell water bottle. If you guys know Swell, it is a pretty expensive brand but it is great quality. I love this baby pink color and it will keep things hot for 24 hours 
or it will keep things cold for 48 hours. So this will be perfect to have on my nightstand at night because I always need a drink of water. Ooh, what do I wanna do next? Oh, I was so excited. So I have been seeing the Living Proof Dry Shampoo everywhere online. So many people have this on their top list. And again, this is not my area of expertise, but mom life, I need a good dry shampoo. This shampoo on its own is like 30 bucks. This is worth more than half of the box, just this one product on its own, which, is awesome. You guys know I love a good deal. I also picked this volumizing mousse. It's got sugarcane extract. It's from the brand Cloud. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is how you know. So it's the Cloud Air Light Volumizing Mousse from AG Care. I said the wrong thing. Nonetheless, I'm excited to try this on my hair. I got these Millennium Stemless Glasses because they looked so pretty. <gasps> Does that not scream like spring, summer? Look at this. How fun is that? So there's purple, yellow, pink, and green in here. Oh, I'm so excited to try those out. I also selected these First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I've heard good things about this, and this was another one that I was like, this would be a great time to try these out. And my sixth item I am so excited about is this Jade Comb. I have seen videos on TikTok of people using these and it just looks like it would be such a good stress reliever. Let me know down in the comments if you're the type of person that likes to get your hair played with. Oh my gosh. So that's supposed to help with like your scalp. Grace and Stella. I cannot wait to use this. These two hair products are worth more than the box. But I got these, I got the glasses, I got the face pads, I got the jade comb, and I got the water bottle. This is one heck of a deal. And it's also nice because it's like a little present to yourself. You can do the annual membership, use the code WhitneyGift, and you will get a free gift valued at over $200 with your annual plan. So that's the first option. The second option is use the code Whitney to do the seasonal, so just one box instead of the whole year. And that one box will be 20% off. And with both, you get access to their member only sales. So not only do you get the box, but you also get to shop their sales from great brands at up to 70% off. So be sure to check out more information about FabFitFun. All the coupon codes and everything will be down in the description. One of my favorite dollar stores to shop at lately has been Pop Shelf. They put one in near me and it is an offshoot of the Dollar General brand. They have things everywhere from $1 up to, I think the most expensive thing I saw there was like 27. So it is a wide variety, a lot more than Dollar Tree. However, they have some really cute stuff at really good price points in my opinion. So I went to check out their spring stuff. They had a ton of different things from outdoor lanterns to serving wear, a bunch of different options. The things that I ended up picking up were more everyday items, but they were in the spring section. So be sure to look for things like this acacia wood riser. I thought this is super pretty. This is going to be great all year round for my decor. This was $15. This thing is solid. Also grab this little storage container. It is that same acacia wood. This one was $10 and I thought it was so pretty. You could use it for storage or you could just use it to put out. I like incorporating wood tones like this into my home. So this is a great and expensive way to do it. And for 10 bucks, I think this is super good quality. I was super excited to find this jute and glass lantern. It's kind of like a vase, I guess, too. I think this will be really pretty outdoors by the pool this summer. Put some fresh flowers in it and have it on the center of like our little table. This guy was 20 bucks, so a little bit more expensive, but for how big it is, it's got this handle too. I thought this was just so cute, so it had to come home with me. And my final pop shelf find were these little candlesticks. This one was three, this one was five. These are actually in their Valentine's Day section. And I thought these would be so pretty styled for spring. This is another reminder that just because it says Valentine's Day on it, like once you take the tag off, you will have no idea. And the pink is so pretty for spring. So I don't know about you, but usually my target dollar spots, like any of the ones I visit, are very hit or miss. Sometimes I could go in and find a ton of stuff, but most of the time I don't find anything. Well, that was recently what happened. I didn't find a whole lot, but I did find these cute platters that I wanted to share with you guys. One is this little egg one. I thought the green color was really pretty. It's melamine, which is nice. You're not gonna worry about breaking it if it falls. And then they also had this one, melamine two, but it had like flowers around the outside, which is nice because you can use it for Easter, but then you can also use it for other seasons as well. So each of these were $3. That was the only thing I found at my Target dollar spots, but super cute and wanted to share.
Up next, let's talk Walmart. One of my favorite things to buy in the spring from Walmart are these pots because you can use them as vases year round, especially with the look like this. These are great for smaller spaces and then they also have a larger version. I grabbed both because I have a spot for both of these and they are the Better Homes and Garden brand. Now these will absolutely sell out. These usually go viral every year and they sell out. So now is the time if you want any decorative pots or anything from the Walmart outdoor section be sure to check them out right now i will link some of my favorites down in the description and this is random from walmart but i did want to share some of my favorite paint brushes that i'm using right now are the hello hobby brand from their craft section so nothing crazy fancy but these last super well i really like the handles how they feel when you're painting so definitely recommend checking these out if you're in the market for some new craft paint brushes my local Michael store had a ton of super cute items for spring and Easter and their floral section is one of my favorites this time of year because all their spring ones go on sale 40% off and you can get a great deal on some picks, some bushes, tons of options for faux florals. So that is definitely where you want to go check out, especially when they're on sale 40% off. I grabbed some of these little picks because I, they gave me Peter Rabbit vibes. I know I've been saying that throughout this whole thing, little bunny bait picks. I thought these would be super cute in an arrangement. And then another random thing that I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of, I get asked all the time where I get my colorful felt garlands. Usually I get them a variety of places, but right now in the spring, Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, it's a great place to find pastel colorful garlands. If you have a small business and you want something for staging your products, or you're like me, you create content, or you just want to add a pop of color to a space in your house, this is the time to look and grab them. Next up, let's do Hobby Lobby. They have a ton of great stuff for spring and more and more stuff will be rolling out now that they'll be able to get rid of their Valentine's Day stuff. A lot of my stores had a lot of Valentine's Day stuff left, so it took them a beat to sell through that. So now they will have more aisle space to get the spring stuff out. It was hard to find everything just because they literally were putting it on end caps where they could find the space. So hopefully now it will all be concentrated. This has to be my favorite find, and that is this bunny. Again, Mr. Peter Rabbit. This is going to go on the center of my table. I thought he was so cute with the little bow. I found a ton of like outdoor entertaining, like plastic melamine stuff that's perfect for your pool area. And these blue glasses were one of the things that I grabbed. It's nice to have glasses like this where you can put, you know, a summer cocktail in it or mocktail, whatever you choose to do, but they're plastic. So if somebody happens to drop it on the pool deck, it's not an issue. These are also great for taking on the boat. I got two sets of bunnies. I got these, which are kind of modern looking. I thought they were so cute. They were $15.99 each, but then on sale 40% off. I think these will be great for the mantle. You can kind of set them up like this where they're, you know, looking two different directions. And then if you're more of a whimsy person, I would recommend these. They are so cute with the little glasses, the heart glasses and the circles. I love these so much. I picked up a set for me and one for my mom because these are just, they're so cute, the little bunny, so cute. And then to go with them, I grabbed one of these Happy Easter banners to go on a tiered tray. And let's round it out with Home Goods. This was my favorite find this year from Home Goods for Easter. This Peter Rabbit pillow. And the reason I love it, not only because it's so cute, is it is approximately the same size as one that was similar that I saw on the Pottery Barn website for way, way, way more. This one I purchased for $16.99 which for a pillow in general is a great price, but I thought for the little Peter Rabbit, it was a great price. It also has a zipper, which is something that I always look for on pillows, thanks to my friend Jennifer at Little Bit of Calm and Crazy. If you look for the pillow, you can always remove the stuffing, you can replace the innards, and it makes it a lot easier to clean as well. So really excited for my cute little Peter Rabbit pillow. Home Goods is also my number one go-to for like napkins, serveware, all that kind of stuff. I was able to find some really cute like bunny watercolor napkins. And then I also found this set of Peter Rabbit ones. This one says hop little rabbit, hop hop. And then this one is just the Peter Rabbit characters by Beatrix Potter. So this was $4.99, $4.99 and these were $5.99. I got now run along and don't get into mischief little Easter plates. These say, and then he ate some radishes. 
And then these just say Happy Easter. So you've got a variety of sizes for like desserts or if you're doing a brunch for like little grab and go pastries. I talked earlier about adding texture to your decor. And so I found these really skinny little um, candle holders. I couldn't think of the word. They're three different sizes. They're that acacia wood. And I like these to mix in with my black matte ones. This was a set of three for the packaging makes me feel like it's going to fall apart. This was $16.99 for the three of them. The wood tends to be a little bit more expensive, but I thought they would look cute around with my little bunny from Joanne. So we're going to mix and match some metals and some wood, some textures, and it's going to be great. Also found a couple cute like cloth napkins at Home Goods. That is another great place to look for these. I was shocked that Dollar Tree had them. So I had bought these before the Dollar Tree ones, but these are just blue striped ones and I think they are so cute. And I also got this basket for decor or if Finn wants to use it for his Easter basket, but I liked the high synth and I thought this could go cute with my little Hobby Lobby Peter Rabbit bunny. That's going to do it for this haul. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you're your favorite find was and let me know what you are looking for this spring. There are so many fun finds out there and I hope this gave you a heads up to some of the items you should go grab so that you don't miss out and you can get them before they sell out. Another huge thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head down to the description for more information on both that seasonal discount or the annual discount on the box. All of that info will be down below. Thanks so much for watching. Before you leave, be sure to hit subscribe down below if you haven't done so already so you can join the craft buddies and DIY along with us and I will see you in the next one. Bye!